Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's video, we have got three different cases to look at. First up, we've got a cow with a crack in her toe. Second one, we've got some buried treasure we need to uncover. And the third one, we've got a case of dermatitis that, that has led to foul. First up, let's take a look at that cracked toe. A couple videos back, we talked about some natural shedding and why we even trimmed pasture cows when they shed on their own. This is exactly the reason why. This one didn't get trimmed in time, and you can see right here how this toe has cracked a little too far up. So we need to clean this now and take this off very carefully and try to uncover that. There's gonna be a uh, some what looks like a lesion underneath from where that toe is got cut a little too short. Similar to if we were to cut our fingernails a little too short, that's what's happened here. So we're gonna take a look at that first. Because this cow is favoring this foot, I know that we've got corium involved here. So I know that that break point is up too high. So I got to using the grinder here just to slowly take off little bits at a time. I don't want to get too aggressive and, and take a big chunk out here because it may break off and tear even higher. So what I'm doing here is just thinning with the grinder and then I'm gonna get the knife out and do more uh, delicate work there and really thin the margins around um, the corium part, just like I would if it were an ulcer to get the, the hoof away from it to allow it to, um, so there's no pinching and stuff like that. So get this taken care of, get the knife out and then we'll get a good close up and you can see how high up this is actually um, cracked. Another interesting thing with this trim is you can see the actual toe length and where that corium is located inside the foot. Normally we can't see that on a normal trim because we're not going to take that toe all the way up to that point, but you can see here you got a good solid half inch, quarter inch from the uh, point of the tip of the toe to that corium level. So we're going to put a block on this one. Obviously she's got some discomfort in that claw because of that and then we'll swing around and you can take a look and see what this, uh, what the the lesion itself looks like and how much I've trimmed away. Here you can get a good close up of that break point and how I've thinned the margins around that. These heal up really well. You just gotta get that loose horn away and that part that's got some leverage on it and they heal right up. Quick spray and that foot can come down. Next up, let's take a look at this girl. This girl's got something wedged right in the middle of that claw. So let's get to work on this one and see what we got here. And that looks to be the head portion of a spike. Get it cleaned up a little bit and you can see here, probably uh, picked up in the pasture as a heifer. This girl hasn't been in very long. And uh, the funny part is we were just talking about things that I'd found in feet uh, with this particular farmer in the morning. And then sure enough, we find this one. But now what we're gonna do is trim this down and see if there's any damage. The way that that, that spike was oriented in the foot, I doubt that there's gonna be any uh, damage here, but we're gonna clean that up and get a closer look and see what it's done. Get a close up here you can see it hasn't done any corium damage just created a little bit of a divot in that sole nothing major so we're with this foot she's good to go and now for our third case of the day and probably the most identifiable and diagnosable by sight foot problem that cows have and that is foul of the foot you see you got some dermatitis in the back probably the cause of this but that's the symptom that we look for is that puffiness between the dew claws and the, and the hoof. That whole area will have a, a puffy swelled appearance and that's a telltale sign that we've got foul in the foot. Here as we pick this up, you can see that dermatitis at the heel. This is very likely the, the way that the uh, foot rot or the foul bacteria was able to penetrate into that foot or gain access to that foot was through this uh, dermatitis lesion. But as it worked down between the toes, gave an entry point, and then the foul set in, caused that puffiness in the foot. So what we're gonna do now is clean up 
obviously this dermatitis here as well as the the foul in between the, the claws get a good look at that and then we'll uh, put some treatment on that and we'll talk about that as we go So with both of these lesions, there's tenderness involved. So what I'm trying to do here is just remove and clean up this, uh, these lesions and basically just remove the biofilm, the, the exudate from the bacteria that end up creating a layer of film on these lesions as well as the dirt and debris and things like that. Get that off there so that my topicals can do their job and, and kill any of the bacteria underneath there. Now, these are two different types of bacteria. The digital dermatitis is a treponema bacteria and the bacteria that causes the foul in the foot is actually a bacterium uh, known as Fusobacterium necroforum. And Fusobacterium necroforum is, is prevalent in the soil. It's not something that's rare. It's not, it has very little to do with cleanliness. It has to, the way that this foot enter, or the way that this bacteria enters the foot is through some type of break. And that's what that dermatitis has allowed here. Here you can see that break and that's allowed that the bacteria to enter and that bacteria then begins to proliferate and cause swelling in that, in that claw. So what we have to do now, get this trimmed, get it all cleaned up, and then we're going to apply a couple of different things here to treat the, first off, the foul and as well as the dermatitis. People often associate cleanliness with these types of foot disorders, but as you can see with this cow, these are this is a tie stall pasture uh, farm and you can see these feet are perfectly clean and yet we still have these types of problems and that has to do with you know the fact that they're in, on pasture the prevalence of this bacteria in the soil and and the fact that it just needs that that entry point to enter it doesn't have to be covered with slurry or anything like that to cause these things it just needs to you know have that um, the right conditions to do that this is the same type of bacteria that affects horses with uh, a condition known as thrush. So it's a uh, it's pretty common situation. What we're gonna do to treat this now is I'm gonna use a salicylic acid in between the claws to treat the fowl. And I'm gonna use tetracycline to treat that uh, digital dermatitis lesion. Tetracycline is an antibiotic. I can't actually purchase antibiotics to treat feet with. The farmer had to get that. So he applied, he uh, provided that for me and that's what I'm gonna use to treat that dermatitis. Very effective. You can use it for foul as well, but what I found is, is uh, systemic type antibiotics, uh, injectables actually work better for that. Things like Exceed, Exnel. Once again, I can't, um, prescribe those or administer them, that's all on the farmer. But that salicylic acid will reduce that inflammation in the foot. And then with those antibiotics that he gives that'll really take care of that foul. That tetracycline is, is extremely effective at killing dermatitis. So we use that when we can. All right, guys, if you enjoyed that video, give me a thumbs up, let me know in the comments section. Uh, what you thought. As always, thanks for watching. We will see you all on the next one.